Blessings, blessings, blessings. Wonderful family. I thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your support for all the videos that I have put out. You have encouraged my heart to continue, you know, to continue do what the Lord has laid upon my heart. And for those that have just subscribed or recently subscribed, welcome to the family. This is Angela speaking. And I do hope, pressing forward, you will find the blessing within this ministry and within this family. You know, I was supposed to do a video this morning, which would have been Monday morning. But I didn't get the time to do the video. So what will be happening is a continu continuation of the different prayers that have been shared from the bible and uh, this would be part seven which i am working on pressing into 21 days i am now maybe have to switch it into the night hours because of how early i'm leaving out in the mornings so please pray for me as i pray for you pray my strength thank you very much and I am just going to go into the scripture. May the Lord open up your spiritual eyes and spiritual ears as this word about to come to your earring. May you find his glory in it and a manifestation of his love and his deliverance. It is Jonah 2, Jonah chapter 2. And it thus read, it's, it's a prayer from Jonah. And it thus read, Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish belly and said, I cry by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou hearest, heardest my voice. For thou hadst cast me in to the deep, and uh, in the midst of the sea and the floods, compass me about all thy billows, and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again towards thy holy temple. The waters compass me about, even to the soul. The depths close me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottoms, the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet has thou brought up my life from corruption O Lord my God when my soul fainted within me I remembered the Lord and my prayer came in unto thee into thine holy holy temple they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy verse 9 says but I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving i will pay that 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 i have vowed and salvation is of the lord verse 10 and last says and the lord spake unto the fish and it vomited out jonah unto the dry land here in that a portion of god's word we honor it by saying thanks be to god can you imagine now, some of us are in certain situation right now and we need to pray this prayer as Jonah has because we all have our share of disobedience and we all know, like most of us or some of us know, sorry about that, some of us know that there is Jonah and Jonah was sent by God to Nineveh, God's prophet, God's God the ruler sent him to Nineveh to warn and he was disobedient and 
in his disobedience he got thrown overboard into the deep and a whale god allow a whale to catch him can you imagine the situation that we are in at this present moment that god it's a situation it's a whale can you just imagine that your situation that seems so dim right now it's a whale it's a whale that god has allowed to caught you to hold you in that holding cell to allow you to be going through that dark period of your life and i'm here to right now whether it's daytime morning time or night time i'm here to remind you that knock and it shall be open seek and it shall find and in our disobedience we will end up with some whales some whale situation but god is not saying that is the end he wants to give you an experience to experience him in another way that when he said go to the left we will go without a murmur you know as the as the songwriter said in the hymnal I will go without a murmur. I will then my soul shall fear no ill. Sometimes fear hold us into that limited space and we are not pushing out of that limited space of fear. Sometimes we are so busy with so many things of this world, our job. I came home and I'm so tired. But you know what? There was something in me and it must be the power of God that is saying, guess what? You're not going to just go and lay down. You're going to do number seven prior because the target is 21 days and I skip out Saturday and Sunday already. Now is Monday night. I need to get going. Too many of us are saying that we are tired. Too many of us are saying that we are fearful. Too many of us are having all sorts of excuses. And then the whale came. Then we get pushed overboard. We get pushed overboard and, and situation caught us like the whale caught Jonah. But guess what? There is hope. There's hope for you to cry out to God for God to give you that deliverance. If you're humble enough, if you're humble enough to experience the hand of God, it is there for you because it is said in verse 2 and said, I cry by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cry I, and thou heardest my voice. In your situation, sometimes we said, Lord, we can't pray. But if it's even to say, Lord, have mercy upon me and cry to him. Cry out to him because he's more than able. Verse 10 would have said, and the Lord speak unto the fish. May the Lord speak to your situation right now. May the Lord speak to the, your situation. And if it is that you are to go through that season, may you see the light while you're going through that situation. May you see the light of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because the power of God is still working and he's still in, God is still in control. I will push into prayer before I take up too many time, too much time. Most righteous and eternal God, Lord, we just want to thank you for this night of prayer and this day, morning, or whatever time our brothers and sisters come in contact with this video. Mighty God, the family, mighty God, we pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we come against every barriers and boundaries. We pray that the anointing and the Holy Ghost fire will catch every everything that is not of you, every diabolical power that comes to hold on this channel. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that God, the fire of the Holy Ghost will catch those that comes to, 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 to hold this channel into captivity. Father, we pray for those that are afflicted and wounded, those that end up in a fish belly, a situation that God, they cannot do anything about unless you speak unless you speak mighty god as you said in verse 10 in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and the lord speak unto the fish 
and it vomited out Jonah onto the dry land. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that God, you will speak in the name of Jesus. Speak to our situation. Speak to our dead situation right now. Speak to our darkness that light will come to our darkness. Speak to our dry bone that flesh will come onto those dry bones in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Holy Ghost power will move upon every dormant situation right now in the name of Jesus. God, such a one that is watching, such a one that is listening, know the situation that they're in. Know the problem that they're facing. Know the tribulation in the name of Jesus. And so God, I speak to the power and the authority of the mighty God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, touch such a one mighty God. They they may be going through mighty God sickness in their body they may be going through mighty God situation in their home situation in family mighty God family dispute marital problem oh God almighty jobless oh God and children dis in disobedience mighty God I pray in the name of Jesus school turning upside down whatever the situation right now father we cry to you in the name of Jesus and I pray that God Almighty your power will reach down and touch such a one right now and that God a healing will come to such a one in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we thank you Lord and we exalt you in the name of Jesus have thine own way, God, as we ketondo, ribako shakuta, robobo sikitu rianda, limondo libako shakaturi, nekoto robo shande, yemo sotolaboshia, in the name of Jesus, God Almighty. Let that one that is watching, mighty God, even to this end, oh God, let healing come to such a one right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. God keep you. Don't give up. Don't give in to the pressures and the lies of the enemy. Keep on keeping your eyes upon the Lord. Peace and love until we see and meet as 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 the slogan said see feel and see you the vision that god has given unto you god bless you <laughs>